Hallo und willkommen zur 68. Folge von Susarena zusammen mit Apfel. Hallo. Heute haben wir ein Briefing on current political situation. Okay. I walk to the white room with a cup of coffee in my hand. My vice president... Ha, fast fertig. <clears throat> my vice president had scheduled a meeting on the current political situation. I opened the door and entered the room. Gloria immediately stood up. Good morning, Mr. President. Good morning. 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 <laughs> I wanted to provide you with some quick updates on the current political situation. How goes? She pulled out a few documents from a briefcase and laid them on the table. Mr. Hall has reported to me that he is currently putting the finishing touches on his new economy, economic plan. Session. He said he wanted to s solidify the plan before it is presented to you. Session. He will schedule a meeting soon to go over our options. Zwei, oder? Ja. Simon can pull it off. I'm sure. He has never failed me before. Mr. Hall knows what, uh, what he's doing. I'm sure he will deliver as well. She closed the folder and put away the, the documents. Next up on the docket. Next, it's time to talk about our election prospects. There was a sharp, soft knock. Sharp, soft knock. Wie kann etwas sharp und soft gleichzeitig sein? Hm. I hope it's alright with you that I've invited Mr. Galate to this portion of the meeting. Er ist wieder mal right on time. Of course. Laura ran to get the door. Lucian walked in. Mr. President. Mr. Vice President. If Lucian still resented my choice of vice president, he didn't show it. His tone was nothing but cordial, cordial and professional. The three of us sat down. Gloria handed out a new set of documents. Miss Tori, I let you take the lead on this. Mr. Gillette? Das gladly kam nicht durch. Ah, okay. I've just received the results of a voter poll uh, commissioned by Peter Rector shortly before his, shall we say, departure. <laughs> Thank you, Peter. To put it in plain language, das hört sich nicht gut an. it's not great. Bad even. The USP stands to lose up to 20% of the vote compared to last time around. Hmm. Sounds good. Uh, Sounds good. Not. Tell to Mr. Wright, do we still have a chance? What else? One more confidence sign. We must miss some chance, so. Okay. Sonst die geben wir einfach gleich. We still have a year to gain more votes, but we've got to think strategically. Which, presumably, is why you have retained the services of your chief strategist. Do you have something to add, Lucian? Hm? Yeah. Hm? No, pardon, the interruption. Ja, hab ich mir schon gedacht. Gloria <laughs> shuffled some pages around. <laughs> Looking at the demographics of the voters' poll, you've fallen out of favor with converse, uh, conservatives. Less than half of them are likely to vote for you. The liberal base appears divided, but you do have a considerable number of supporters there. For better or worse, you certainly aren't popular with nationalists. Heißt, wir haben gar nichts. Yeah, we have basically nichts. If you ever had any support <laughs> from socialists, you've completely lost it now. Unsurprisingly, none of the bloodish poll res uh, respondents said they were planning on voting for you. 
Wir haben gar nichts. Lastly, we can't expect votes from uh, centrists and unaffiliated or just unless we do something to win them over. It sounds like we're doomed. Yeah. <laughs> Not necessarily. Listen, Amaba was selected as vice president at least partly because of my access to the USP's conservative way. <laughs> I can give you some insight into gaining more conservative votes if you wish. Go ahead. This women rights commission of yours. I did warn you against moving too fast on that front. Giving women, uh, women's rights activists everything they want at once is guaranteed to scare conservatives off. Ach, leg me a This civil unrest that I've been hearing about since I took office. It needs to end. With a big show of force, if possible. Conservative... Conservatives... Like a secure country. If all AS failures fall back on Sodland's military might. I'm personally not a fan of Shingoism, but it works on certain segments of the base. I'm not going to panda to flag waving mouth breathers. <laughs> And Tonorani is nothing if not a patriot. I rally the troops. I don't need to call conversatives. That's badly. Okay, moment zwei. Ja. Ah. Anyway, that's my advice. For what it's worth. Thank you, Gloria. Lucian, your thoughts? Lucian smiled and bowed his head slightly. Thank you, Mr. President. This may sound like common sense, but a convincing enough campaign can succeed where policies fail. Even if you've opted Not to focus on your campaign at the moment, I'd still advise you to seize every chance for exposure that you can. I'll take that into account. Die anderen zwei sind gegen seinen. Genau. Gerade, oder? Ja. Okay, dann habe ich es richtig verstanden. Okay, ja. Gut. One more thing. There is a not insignificant portion of undecided voters who don't care who occupies the Maroon Palace, as long as the economy is running smoothly. Propping up the economy just ahead of the election is a surefire way to win them over. Thanks for the advice. Th thanks for the advice. Lucian nodded in, ac in acknowledgement. Our country seems to be stable so far, but we should avoid further crisis, if we want to come out of this term strong. There are some worrying news. The Lotterberg Group is up to something. My informants have been uh, talking about frequent meetings happening between the oligarchs. This covers most of it. All for today. Great, I feel enough. Gloria, was that all for today? Yes, that's everything on my end. Perfect, the three of us make a good team, don't we? <laughs> good work, both of you. I'll see you shortly. I left the room to attend to my next meeting. Alright. Good, this leaves auch acceptable. Okay, das machen wir in der nächsten Folge. Ich würde sagen, lasst so ein Like und ein Abo da, wenn es euch gefallen hat. Schau auch morgen wieder vorbei. 14 Uhr geht's weiter und tschüss. Tschüss.